How's it going YouTube? It's Jack Churchman, the owner of Cut Crew Limited. Welcome back to another episode of Behind the Blade. Behind the Blade is our weekly video series where we show you the ins and outs of the grounds maintenance industry. Cut Crew are a commercial grounds maintenance business operating in East Midlands. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much again for watching another episode. Friday, so I've already had my weekly BNI meeting. Ash has done two permanent netball courts. And now we are at a football club ready to mark the white. So we set the satellite up. We've sprayed through the paint and we've attempted to spray the white. Unfortunately, this pitch is not playable. We can't get the robot to move. So it's time to pack up and head home. So tomorrow, Ash is on his own and he's also on his own Monday because I'm managing to get away for the weekend and we're at this wonderful resort called Foxtail Holiday Park where we had one of the lodges. It's based just outside of Wrexham in the Wales border and it's got great access to Snowdonia and all of North Wales. It was a lovely little place and uh, it was nice to have a control, alt, delete and reset. So it's Monday afternoon and I'm back at work. Ash has been out to one of the schools this morning and the care home. Now we're just trying to source some bits for gritting tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna head over to my man, grab some salt, and then yeah, got a couple of great jobs tonight that we're gonna to have to get done. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go out on my own and do that because obviously Ash has done a day shift. So a big shout out to my man. We've managed to grab some salt off of them. We've got a couple of clients we've got to grit up tonight. So I'll be going out tonight. Uh, we've only got a little pedestrian spreader. We've not bought a tractor spreader or anything like that yet because this is really the first season that we've dipped our toes into spreading. But yeah, see how it goes. Right, so I'm out with the first gritting job of the night. Real small car park, just got to do, and then the walkways around the front of the building. Got the pedestrian gritter there. So I smash this out and then move on to the next one. Sight one done, on to the next one. Okay, right, I've just pulled up at the last site of the night. I had a right nightmare at the last site. One of the pedestrian spreaders, the agitator inside, basically not working. So I kept having to bounce the spreader, if that makes sense, to try and get the salt to drop to the bottom. So yeah, a bit frustrating. However, this is the first year we've kind of offered gritting services and we're only doing it to current clients and stuff that, you know, we can handle by hand. Maybe in the future I'll look at getting a broadcast spreader for the tractor or something like that it just depends on the popularity of the service but yeah anyway i'm going to crack on and uh, get this gritted you can see there i've just made a really small makeshift agitator proper ghetto doubt it'll work but it's worth a try right i will pretty much just finished that was really hard work i'm not gonna lie um that agitator didn't work at all and I resulted in just walking around using that as a kind of wheelbarrow and then flinging it with a shovel. Um, I've got a pretty even distribution. I've probably picked too much grit down, if anything. However, it's done and hopefully the client will be happy. This is the first kind of season we've offered this service. So I've spoke about so many times before, when you start to offer a new service, just do what you can with the equipment you have. And then hopefully in the future, if we can kind of guarantee some more grit and work then i'll look at getting something like a drop spreader for the tractor or potentially a tow behind spreader for the pickup but yeah at the minute it's just not worth it for us to do that just had a question on youtube from danny clegg to ask whether any gritting is going to be in this video if we get more gritting jobs and we get the capable equipment then i will bring people along and film more of it however as i said we're just getting into this so let me know if you think it's viable but or if you're using it within your business as a service let me know and uh yeah one thing to think about and ponder i think is gritting worth it and there we have it the shovel hands have come in handy i need to go home and have a bath tomorrow we're on a dig out job for a kind of temporary driveway so yeah see you tomorrow Right, it's Wednesday, we're on a bit of a different job. For those that don't know, we kind of started the business landscaping and uh, in the groundwork sector. So, and we moved across to maintenance. So we're going back to our roots a little bit. One of the people that's in my BNI networking group asked if we can give them a hand 
to make a temporary driveway on this land here. So hence why we've got the digger and a dumper here and we're going to be digging out ready for some MOT sub base. Once the MOT sub base is down, we're just going to roll that out, whack that down and that's going to be his temporary car park. Or if he wants to make it more decorative later on, obviously he's got his sub base ready to go and he can just choose the aggregates he wants or if he wants block paving or anything like that. So yeah, good base. It's absolutely freezing this morning. We're going to get some work done and then I'll get the cameras out most likely and show you what's going on. But we've got a three ton Kubota excavator, 2.3 swivel tipper and a Bomag roller. So yeah, if any of you are interested in that machinery, let me know in the comments. But yeah, we're going to crack on and do some work. I've said to Ash to stay in the van nice and warm until I need him. So yeah, um, I'll just signal him. Hello! and then he can hop out and uh, run some muck for us. Let's crack on. Right, so we've put our datum line in, we've put a nice straight edge in, and I've done it to just near the depth where we need to dig out to, because once this is all roughly dug out, we'll then level it over uh, and make sure we're at the required depth and whack some membrane on top, but we're cracking on quite well. So yeah, let's get on with it. It's cold today, but it's a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm keeping my door open on the digger, just not to kind of push it in Ash's face that there's a heater in there. Uh, but yeah, we're cracking on really well. Um, I might pit a time lapse on in a minute. I'm just very aware that time lapses are probably boring for you lot, but yeah. Right, update, we are getting there. Done pretty much all of that. All of this section's pretty much done. Again, as mentioned earlier, we're just going over it really roughly. And then what we'll do is we'll just roll the area and then any imperfections I can then grade with the digger. Let's show you the massive pile that Ash has made. I reckon we've probably got about 40 tons there. Judging it by oh, there's probably three grabs. It's a lot of muck, so yeah, we're nearly there. I'm gonna stop and have some lunch now and uh, get ash warm. So yeah, update you if there's any progress shortly. Right, we've just got the compactor out. We've just dug a cable in because the customer's putting a barn down there. So that cable's been dug in now. We've backfilled it and uh, we're just compacting it now. And then we're gonna wax a membrane down because we've got an aggregate delivery first thing in the morning. But that's how we're looking. Really need that ground to firm up a bit. It's very soft now that we've been running over it all day. So in the morning, I'll just give it a quick grade and then we'll be good to go for the gravel. And we're gonna wait till tomorrow to get all that done. My priority is the gravel. As I said, we got the delivery tomorrow. So we just need to make sure that we're prepped, ready to go for that. We need to get 20 tons out of the way, ready for the next delivery of another 20 ton. So that can wait, that can be a back burner once we've, uh, got some time spare we can do that straight after but yeah right we're all sorted for a day we're going to call it a day just had a little bit of an incident uh, that we didn't film but if you can guess what it was in the comments if you're Ashley Howard you're not allowed to enter if you can guess what just happened in the comments I'll send you a hundred pound Ash that includes your missus as well or any of your family members but if you can guess what happened I'll send you a hundred quid. Oh my lord. Yeah, pretty much. God has told us to go home. So, uh, see you tomorrow. What day is Ash? Wednesday. It's Wednesday and we're at, back at that job. We're just waiting for the aggregates delivery from JW Clark, who are based in Chowns Mill Roundabout near Earthlinborough. We're pretty much prepped. They're bringing some membrane for us as well. However, we have put some membrane down so they can deliver our stone. We've still got a bit of skimming off to do. Luckily, the frost is helping us out with that. The ground has hardened up, so we'll, we'll be able to skim the top level, get that graded nice and a lovely jubbly. And then, yeah, today we'll be laying the stone and getting that compacted. We started to get our MOT down, got our membrane down. Just gonna do it in sections, so I'll probably grab the roller now, roll this bit, and then carry on with the whole area. But yeah, you enjoying it, Ash? Yeah. <laughs> Funny. 
making solid progress and we got another delivery from the famous jw clark so yeah i'm happy i've got a meeting at uh lunchtime regarding some future uh some possible future work so hopefully that goes well so i'll be leaving ash here just to carry on basically loading the mot up and leveling it off but we're getting there as you can see we've just been doing it in sections rolling it as we go so this has been graded and rollered probably give it a, another quick level then give it hell with the roller and then this is an area that hasn't been prepped so you can kind of see the difference there i was just saying to ash i always market myself as a commercial grounds maintenance company but if you've got the know-how to take these jobs on in winter then definitely do it pays the bills pays the mortgage There he is, another one, another cheeky eight ton from Gary, the Here we go. famous. Another quality delivery from JW Clark. <laughs> right, we've just had the last delivery. I am now rushing to go to that meeting. I'm not going to lie, I wasn't expecting another eight ton, but me and Ash were literally just saying that we might be short. So I'm glad that Gary turned up. Best grab driver out there now that Joe Chubb retired. I'll give you an update when I get back to site and let you know how the meeting's gone. Ring in. Welcome to George Davis Turf. Kindly note, we record all our calls for trading and monitoring purposes. It's going to be worth the wait, I promise. Hi oh, mate, is Freddie available at all? Um, he is available, but um, I'm working from home today and our main office is internet's been cut off. Right, okay. Been treated to a cup of tea, haven't we? We're getting there, we're getting there. Always have that mad panic midday to try and get done by the end of the day and I've uh, totally come to the conclusion that we're gonna be back here tomorrow. So I had scheduled it in for three days, so it's not too bad, but once you get the thought in your head that you might be able to do it. Yeah. I thought you were daydreaming, man. <laughs> Once you get it in your head that you might be able to do it, you start going for it. But I don't think we're ever going to achieve records in this weather. But yeah, anyway, nearly done for today. I've got to go out gritting tonight. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll be back here in the morning for some more fun, I guess. I'm not giving up on this. We're going to go straight, straight to the, straight to the, what do you call it? The dragon's head. Yeah. There we go. They won't answer. <laughs> They'll be avoiding me. They know what it's about. I was just sorry that we've got diarrhea now. I was just about to call you because... Um, Is Freddy there? He's on the phone to BT at the minute. Because we've got I've got a bone to pick with you lot. By the way, you're, being, you're, you're live on the YouTube. What? Yeah, you're live on the YouTube. Okay. Anyway, I've got a bone to pick with you. Well, okay. ma mainly Freddy, but yeah. What's he doing in my manor, giving out George Davies coats, right? And not bringing me one. That's a really good point, Jack. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> Round the corner from my house, the disrespect. The disrespect. Do you know what it was? It was, do you know, um, the... Oh, what's it called? Shut up. Shut up. Right. So, you know, spin the wheel. Yeah, that's not what I've been told. They're really lovely dual-branded jackets. And I'm sure, you know, they're going to be like a dual-branded jacket. Cut through to get a dual-branded I'm fine. I'm fine for the jackets, you know, because I can weather the storm. But it was just Have a you hurt. Seen them? It's the hurt. Of course I've seen one. I was sat in a meeting and every every time I every time I try and pay a price... You're not, you're not, you're not there we go. You've seen this, look. <laughs> Every time I tried putting a point across, they said, well, yeah, but you've not got a George Davies jacket. And I said, well, I might as well go home then. <laughs> I can't mention any names. We're live on the YouTube. Oh, okay. No, we're not. You're not actually live on the YouTube, are you? You're just changing nah. me up. You're, you're on Instagram. You can't be live on Instagram. And you wouldn't expose George Davies to like that one either. <laughs> I'm joking. Nah, it's all. It's gonna be edited. Yeah, my it's fine. Just fell through my trap, like, fell through my stomach. <laughs> right, it's later on. It's half six at night. It's still Wednesday. 
and I'm out at the first gritting job. Obviously, let, earlier on in the week, we found out that the pedestrian gritter I had um, just wasn't cutting the mustard. So today, I know it's probably not the best, but I'm just gonna barrow and sling it with a snow shovel. As I've mentioned before, it's not a service that we do regularly um, down here in Northampton. It is a service I'll look to try and get contracted with clients next year. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to get a broadcast spreader for a back of a pickup or a tractor if so. But, um, but yeah, you just gotta make do, I guess. Let me know in the comments if you do any gritting uh, and how you go about it. Be interesting to know whether you price it per grit or if you tie people into a contract and stuff like that. Every day's a learning day. I wouldn't say I particularly enjoy the service. However, it's nice knowing that if you haven't got any decent work for the day due to the weather, that you can still go out at night and uh, earn some money. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna crack on with this. I might film a little bit of it just to ridicule myself with my barra and my shovel but yeah i might film a little bit of it just so you lot can laugh at my barra and my shoveling um other than that get it done get home and uh get warm bathed and ready for and ready for tomorrow i guess right pretty much done site one that was actually really really easy uh with a shovel and a barra i'm going to show you my technique now quickly just so you can all have a good old laugh and let me know in the comments whether it has entertained you or not but my back is in bits here we go right let's stick you lot down there right so basically it's mega simple get your barra get your shovel only put like a little bit on there and then i try and get as low as possible and get a right good flick on it a little turn of the wrist and you're away No, but in all seriousness, I'm going to ask the viewers and the subscribers, would you spend £4,000 on a gritter? It would probably take me five minutes to do a site with a gritter that goes on the back of a pickup or an extra 20 minutes to do it that way and keep costs low for something, a service that you don't do very often and also that you don't publicly advertise. It's only for your own clients. Again, we have got a little pedestrian broadcast spreader, but when it's not working, is this the best way? Let me know what you think. Or should I just be banished from the salt gritting community forever on a single ticket out of there? Unless I invest maybe £5,000 on a gritter that I may be using maybe twice a year because I live in Northamptonshire, not Scotland. So yeah, let me know. Right, the next two car parks are extremely dimly lit and you're not going to gain anything from it. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thursday we're on site we've only got a little bit left to do uh, MOT wise and then we've got all of that to dig out so yeah um, and then we've got a couple of jobs this afternoon hopefully depending on what we get done here one of us will go to the other jobs or both of us will so yeah let's crack on shall we it's a cold one today minus four so we've just done a little final grade on this section using the front blade on the digger to scrape it back add more where is needed and we're just giving it another whack now then we'll do that bit, then we'll do that bit, then we'll clear all of that. Oh, what's the matter with us? You've got a shiny rock. Yeah, that's my crystal. All right, work, it manifests as work, rest and play. I keep it with me everywhere I go. What's the problem? I've got one for wealth. It's abundance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. What's wrong with it? It's just weird. <laughs> If you've not noticed yet, I am a little bit weird. Yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, now Ash is over my shiny stone. Um, we are pretty much done. We've still got a little bit of clearing to do. However, we've got other jobs booked in at this property. Um, and we didn't know that we was going to be having to do that whilst we're doing a drive. And the earth is just mega clumped up because of the frozen temperatures. So we're going to make a right mess if we um, carry on. And I'll have to let the customer know. We've got a little bit of tidying up to do and then we'll run off to uh, this afternoon's job. I've got so much computer work I've got to get on with. I've not edited any of this video yet. So this normally comes out on a Thursday night. I'm not sure if it will this week. Normally I edit every night that day and I've just not been keeping on top of it. Um, but yeah, uh, loads of quotes to do. We've got a couple of tender packs to pit together. It's all stressful stuff, however, if I pick the paperwork, if I pick the work in in the evenings and get it all done uh, without rushing, then hopefully it will amount to some good work. 
But yeah, struggling at the minute because we've been going out gritting at night, just struggling to keep on top of stuff. I don't know if anyone else uh, has found the same, let me know in the comments. But yeah, just uh, keeping on top of stuff at the minute seems like a right pain, especially with the shorter days. But yeah, anyway, let's get tidied up here, get out of here and uh, move on to the next one, shall we? Just pulled up at one of the tidies. It's looking fairly good. We'll go for a quick walk now. Not too bad at all. We're going to give it a quick blow up. Uh, most of the leaves might be frozen to the ground, but we'll give it a go. Um, and then, yeah. Massive shout out to Ash who said to me, get the editing done whilst I sort the site out. So he's a good lad. Thank you very much, Ash. And we really all love you in order for us to do some editing on site. That's pretty much the end of this video. You're not going to get anything more from this site. So if you have liked this video, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe so I can buy Ash your coffee. You can click here to go to our website. Here to subscribe. Here to watch last week's video. Or here to watch a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Have a good week, everyone. And we'll see you on the next episode.